Okay, my issue with this whole situation is that, for one, I kind of agree with different perspectives, but what my issue with this whole situation is, I don't see why people think it's a fun thing or a good idea or it's entertaining to look into someone else's life and start criticizing them for their loved ones and who they choose to fall in love with and so forth you know um i uh, that's my thing it's just like no one did anything to this particular content creator and it seems like this content creator was really funny honestly this content creator is by the name of Khaleesi, but she, for some reason, thought it would be fun or smart to say that Divested Witch is a swirling mammy, while this chick can't even help but tell us that she's dated black men, and probably is still dating black men right now. Um... Obviously, if she's attracted to them, and she obviously is if she's dated them, um, she has some kind of interest in them. Divested Witch has never even expressed that she ever had any interest in black men. So, trying to go about saying someone is less attracted, I mean, more attracted to black men when they can't even have any physical attraction to black men to begin with while you do obviously as long as he has money um i think this person is really in a sector that they think they belong to but they really don't a lot of the people who believe in the level up are really the level up version of rainbow swirlers and i have always been open-minded enough to say okay yeah we can call you divested because why not you know um i don't really i don't believe in gatekeeping and all that stuff because i'm like at the end of the day what does it matter if you want to call yourself that who am i to be busy telling you you're not you know it's up to you you know i just like how i say i don't tell people who to date what tax bracket to date what um, race to date, what penis size to date, um, how attractiveness to date. Like, I don't tell people that, you know. But this lady had the nerve at 600 subscribers to go and tell people who to date if their man is too ugly, if their man is too old, if their man is too poor, if their man's penis is too big, you know. Well, in a space that is for specifically women who date men who are usually outside of their race, and you're in a space where you honestly aren't all that welcome because you do date black men, you know, you do date black men, you just don't do it often, maybe because you find more men with of other races that, um, have money you know more money as she specifically said that was the reason why she um dated outside of her race now i don't have anything against that but many people could criticize people like that and i she said that she had a fit over these people because they spoke against gold digging and sugar babies and most likely what triggered her the most was the fact that um, both of them have either said something against sugar babies, gold digging, or prostitutes. Um, and, I mean, for sugar babies, I don't understand them. Like, okay, you live your life and it's fine. But how are you going to be criticizing someone else saying that, oh, you're you're with someone who's poor bottom shelf and all this nonsense while someone could literally say you date for money so basically it's all about who has the biggest pockets you can be bought you have a price tag on you you're a prostitute basically sugar baby is a fancy way of saying you're a prostitute now what 
I mean, like people can say both things about each people. You, you, I understand. What we don't have to go there if you just live your life and let others live their lives. You know, not everyone wants to be a prostitute. You know, just like not everyone wants to be with poor men, middle class men, rich men. You know. It's saying that you're not attracted to a man or that is taken is a good thing because that taken man is not interested, you know. Um, he is taken and he is getting married to someone else that is not you. So, I mean, like, to me, this was just a very messy live stream. And some of the points she made were points that were valid, but it had no point in being made about people who did not ask for her advice. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe and comment down below. Have a great day. Bye.